there, this is Allison, and today I kind of felt like doing a little ranting video because ranting videos are fun. I'm sorry if I look a little worn out or tired and flushed, it's just because I didn't get much sleep last night and I just got home from work, so I'm kind of energetic still from working and stuff, so I'm like, okay, well, I'm going to do this video now because I have all this energy and blah, blah, blah. So, today I wanted to rant about deviating from a majority. And I this, I'm not trying to apply this to extremists, such as those who deviate from the majority in that they want to destroy everyone and murder everyone and set the world on fire. Not that kind of deviating from a majority, so if that's what you want to hear about, you can go somewhere else. Anyways, I'm talking more along the lines of really the goth subculture, but you can take what I'm talking about and kind of apply it to other situations, other life things. So yeah. Um, lately I've noticed like on YouTube videos and Facebook statuses and other social media sites that, you know, I see a lot of people who constantly, I guess, kind of agree with the person who's posting the status or the person who's posting the YouTube video and I'm just like it kind of makes me feel like feel like rather than sharing their actual opinions they're kind of kissing ass or jumping on the bandwagon and while they may be agreeing with who whoever posted it it's just I don't know I just wanted to put out there that you know it's completely okay to stray away from what everyone else thinks so I'm just going to give you a few examples that have to do with the gossip culture. Um, I'm someone who likes gothy things to put out there first. It may not be all done up looking gothy right now or whatever, but like I said, I just got home from work. I noticed that a lot of people like the the Susie Sue makeup where she it's the, um, the eyebrows and then it connects down to the eye makeup right here. And a lot of people love the Suzy Sue style and makeup and fashion and what have you. And I just, I don't really like it. And every time I see it, I like a lot of the goth girls are raving about it. It's like, oh, Suzy Sue, you know, she's so pretty and so cute. And I just don't really like it. And like, I don't see what's so attractive about it. And, and I think um, some girls who do different renditions of her, like makeup, and their own versions. I think some of those look pretty and like decent and not good and okay, but in general I just don't like it. So I'm just gonna put that out there. I don't think it's attractive. And a lot of goth girls, and I'll be mentioning goth girls because I'm a girl, so I relate to them more. A lot of goth girls like like especially the leather mini skirts and the fishnet tights, fishnet sleeves, like spiked collars and the heavy eye makeup and me personally I just kind of I don't really like all that stuff I've always been more of a simple and plain girl I guess you could say and a lot of the girls get them the like leather or PVC platform heels and it's just like whoa like to me, it's a little bit too out there, but you know, that's just my opinion, and I grew up liking simpler ways of expressing myself, I guess, but yeah, I mean, and I think it's fine for me to say that. I'm not trying to offend anyone, so no one, no girls take this personally, but I don't really like it, and I don't find it all that cute and all that pretty on some other girls maybe, but for me, no. And I think that's fine to say that and just throw that out there. And I don't have to agree with anyone and I don't have to like disagree and start a fight. I can say, I don't like it, you know, whatever. <laughs> well, those are just a couple of examples. And a more like widely applicable example is with people having kids and families. and. Now, I'm almost 20 years old, so from what I've like seen and heard so far, a lot of people have this idea that the final goal, fulfilling goal in life is to get married and have kids. And I think that if 
someone, like a man or woman, decides that they don't want to have kids or even get married, then, then that should be fine. Not everyone's cut out to be a parent and not everyone wants to have kids. So if people so decide that, then no one should be, I guess, making them second guess themselves and saying, well, you know, you'll never know the joys of being a parent or having the kid, having kids are the greatest happiness you could ever have. I don't think that's really fair to say that to people who don't agree with that. Some people don't want kids and they find, you know, great happiness in work or religion or hobbies and etc. And I don't think it's fair to say that to them because they probably can find great happiness and those other things rather than having kids. So I think it's fine if people don't want to have kids if that's what they decide. You know, decide they can be just as happy without kids or without getting married, and that's fine. You know, it's fine to do that, and people should be fine with making those choices. So yeah, I wonder if I had any more examples. I can't really think of anything. Oh, um, there's something I just posted on Facebook where, like I said, like I said earlier too. People are always like agreeing with statuses on Facebook or on on YouTube videos, always agreeing with opinions and I think people should be just feel fine with disagreeing. Like if I see something on someone post something on Facebook that I really disagree with, I just say, uh no, I don't really agree with this. That's about it. And I can explain myself. And if someone gets crazy on me, I'm just like, whatever, I'm, I'll just walk away honestly because there's no point in arguing with someone who's gonna go batshit crazy just because you disagreed with them. And so you should feel fine with deviating from a majority. Um, and especially within the golf soap culture, I feel like a lot of people are scared to do their own thing. They need to sort of keep up with other people and keep up the true goth name and such but you know it's fine to do what you want and it's fine to be your own person it's fine to disagree and stray away from what a majority thinks and you should be okay with expressing yourself and if people attack you for expressing yourself then just push them aside say go away you know who are they to tell you what you shouldn't and shouldn't like and all that sort of junk. So that's just my little rant and that's what I had to say about that. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you subscribe because, just because, just do it. And I noticed that I'm getting a little bit more flushed in the face so I need to go clean up and spend the rest of my day relaxing. So yeah, hope you guys enjoy this again. Thank you for watching and bye.